Hi everyone, you alright? Yeah, there's going to be some videos co coming up very soon. Yeah. Yeah, went out, as I said, on my video earlier. I went out today. Went round town. And uh, had a look round, see what's... Uh, hello. I was talking about... Uh, Create and craft, yeah, and craft extra and all that. But uh, the major thing is, um, not a lot of people have uh, connected internet connected TVs. Yeah, not good, not good at all really so yeah as i said on said earlier there's been quite a lot of areas in the in the south there have had uh, a fair bit of a battering parts of jersey and guernsey as well as i said i went shopping earlier on today I'm just waiting for the other phone to um, to sort itself out and uh, you know get its uh, battery uh, sent up well f filled up so I can send you know I can get all the stuff off off it and apparently I've got about two three two three days worth of uh videos on there which i haven't sent up yet um yeah so i'm just waiting to see what happens and uh take it from there Hang on, did I hear a squeak outside? I'll just go and have a look. I'll go and have a look, see what's uh, see what's happening. See what's uh, happening out there. Let's have a see. Nothing yet. Nothing yet at all. I think someone's just getting out of a cab actually. But, uh, but some people have been having really bad, really bad. Uh, stuff that's been happening on the co south coast yeah so I'll just turn that off so that uh, I'm not flattening the batteries on it yeah so how are you lot you lot okay hope so um yeah one of the major things i did notice today when i went into town they were saying that food prices are are um in some cases are jumping up in price um what was it what was it i noticed well there were quite a fair few things that i noticed and one of the things that uh 
was happening. I had a shot. I ha spoke to a shop assistant today and I asked him about things that, are, that were going on and he basically told me that majority of shoppers are quite sensible and uh, amicable shall we say but uh, they have been uh, shall we say instances that some clients who go into the into into the stores into the store um well go in and cause problems for the staff you know what these type of people are shoplifters and so shoplifters uh mainly um they were saying that there's been quite a large amount of theft being being taken place but uh, the police was asked to come out um, to to you know come and sort it out and everything but what is happening in a lot of cases the police are basically ignoring it because they were asked to come out to sort out that sort of thing but for what I've been hearing what for what I've been hearing uh, they're giving shops advice over the phone and then left it at that and uh, yeah yeah they just left it at that and I must admit when I had a walk around the shopping centre the quality of the stores that are there I must say is very questionable yeah I went into one beyond to have a look around see what they had and I must admit that the way that they were presenting their merchandise shall we say it wasn't that brilliant it wasn't that brilliant at all um, they'd put the uh, baskets and there's, there's like these plastic trolley things and you wouldn't have known if you if you hadn't got if if you don't go around the back of it as you go in uh, you wouldn't know the baskets were there you wouldn't notice them I had to add you know I had to do two takes to see where these where the where the where the yeah, trolley things were and the baskets were yeah and one major other thing that uh, I know I noticed 
sometimes they just leave they just leave st stuff in a pile on the floor and not stick it on the shelves at all there were people picking stuff off of, off the floor which weren't had been which hadn't been put on the shelves as yet and uh, yeah no prices on them that's how it were and I must admit that the owners of the mall really need to get their finger out because I personally heard a lot of people um, say what did I'm trying to remember what they said the management aren't competent enough to uh, to get jobs done like the escalators have been out of operation for over four weeks and one lady was as in when I was in the lift she was saying how dark it was and I jokingly say well you know you know what it's like for me you know and she said, no, it's not that. Not that. It's the light. It was basic. She was saying that the lift was uh, was basically running on emergency lighting. Yeah, not good. Hopefully, the uh, repair crews most probably um, get that sorted. But then again, they might even take the escalate escalators out, you know. And uh, yeah, because like there's two step, there's two no, there's one staircase, ain't there? Yeah, there's one staircase two escalators and one stair staircase and uh, yeah one major thing I do notice when I go into the mall the maintenance is how can I put it it's a bit sloppy you know, you go up onto the next floor, which is a car park. There is water, water seeping through. I'm quite surprised that that's not happening because you've got one beyond and you've got a car you got car park above it you know at, at the side of it and I'm quite surprised that water isn't getting in there you know but when they did remodel the uh, shopping area and they got the where the where the units are on the bottom. Majority of those units are empty. And like I said before, in one of my uh, other blogs, the post office has now gone, and the the um. What is it? Yeah, 
you've got one you've only got one uh, beauty place eyebrow place on the bottom ground floor all the rest of the units except for uh, I'm trying to remember which units they are um, you've got H&T pawnbrokers you have the bookmakers and then you've got the gym pure gym right those are the only three tenants on that lo on that lower on that lower um, part and then you have then you have the have the market behind them at the back because it goes round and and like a bend sort of thing and that's it but uh, the rest of the rest of that area nobody would take the units but I thought I thought that uh, Greg's would do pretty well there because it, it did pretty well because it was right next to the bus station it would have been it it's it would be in a prime spot but they decided that it wasn't wasn't much of a prime spot so they moved on to king william street so and even parts of king william street there's empty units the game store on the corner as you go in uh, not the world car side the other side nearest to nat west that unit has been sat there empty for ages no one will take it but the major problem the map what the mal has they're charging too much for the units but when they do get when they do get um, a tenant it's crap it's absolute crap you know um, it's not good not good at all they have a hairdressers there's one called just cuts right just next door to that that's an empty unit what used to be called ideal furniture don't know where they went just a bunch of fly-by-night uh, uh, merchants but um, there was another one wasn't there perfect home yeah and that has one two three I think that's got about four empty four empty units there if you include uh Yeah, because you had, you have the old Peter Jackson shop on the corner. That's still empty. And then you've got one, uh, two more behind that. Can't get tenants for them because the cost of um, the tenant, you know, 
to open a store there is just not um, viable, shall we say. Yeah. So people are just going across the road on King William Street. There's a bubble bubble there's a new bubble tea shop on King William Street and I go past when we go past it there's nobody in it. Nobody. I think the maximum amount of people I've seen go in there is about two. So it might change when um, the change of use uh, comes into play because there are plans in the pipeline that they're going to start putting flats on Richmond Terrace which I might have might have um, said so, said something about that if they turn turn quite a lot of Richmond Terrace into flats but I don't really want to see uh, the lower end sort of uh, flats that you know, like old crappy HMOs, you know, we don't want that for the town centre, or we don't want that for Richmond Terrace, because it would, those types of how, the housing there are, well, they're designed for big families really, so we'll just have to wait and see. There was um, a plan just across the road from the museum. They were looking at where the Royal Bank of Scotland used to be. There was like a square there. It's got trees and stuff on it. Well, the museum staff used to sit there and uh, you know um, have their lunch break there just to get outside and you know, have, have, a, have some fresh air and a smoke but uh, I don't it's all boarded up boarded round it I don't know what's going to happen to that but I've got a funny feeling there might uh, clean that up because if if um, they do Richmond ter Terrace and do put the flats there they'll need a common area you know to be truthful there's no real back gardens on those places you know um, they are going to need some greenery you know, looking out the looking out the window, and you see, all you see is a brick what brick wall. It's not very. Uh, it's not psychologically uh, good for your health, is it? So we'll see. Have to see what happens. There are quite. There are still quite a few. Um, lawyers and that lot who still um, have their practices there but uh, we'll just have as I said we'll just have to wait and see what happens at the next council meeting which should have been today so It's a sit, wait and see moment. 
but the way things were where the way things are going at Blackburn with Darwin people just do not want to um get involved shall we say because there's been a lot of controversy um going on people turn around and they go to their local councillor to get to try and get things done and the councillors are just not interested only time that you get their interest is coming up for election time because a lot of them they're not really interested in what what the local people want it, all they're basically interested in is where is lining their pockets and that's about it as long as they get their money that's it they don't really care about who what you know they don't really care about their constituents and that's locally and what I personally think of the local MP, she does nothing. She does nothing. Um, to be truthful, um, what I'm about to say is controversial. She's not fit for purpose. Um, Jack Straw did more for the town than what she does. And uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. She's never she hasn't brought anything to to Blackburn at all. Um basically the council here it's very anti high rise and it wanted to have city status. I'm sorry Blackburn, your 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 population is not uh good enough it's not high enough. It's not high enough. And then you took then you people then you've got the Darwin issue, haven't you? People in Darwin don't really want to be with you. You know. But. You know. It's not good. It's not good. I'm just waiting to see what happens next. Um, but. There's been quite a lot of. Stuff going up on next door. The neighbourhoods app. And, uh, yeah, if you're a, if you're a councillor in the, in the Blackburn or Darwin area, um, I think you should, uh, go to one side and have a good think of where your loyalties lie. Are you, um, going to sort out the problems of your constituents or not because if you're not why are you bothering to send you know to uh, stand as a councillor all, all you think thinking about is lining your pockets and that's about it well I said my two penny, pennies worth and I'll see you in the next one